Educational research is an important type of research in social sciences. We can say that educational research is a subset of research in social sciences or social science research. What is educational research? Why do we need to conduct research in the field of education? And what is the general process of educational research? Or how is educational research conducted? These are the questions that we will briefly respond to um, in the remaining presentation. So educational research, what is educational research? Um, generally, educational research is formal, systematic, deliberate inquiry that is aimed at finding answers to our research questions in the field of education or our research questions regarding educational phenomena. Now, these research questions uh, that are related to the field of education are often based on our experiences as educationists or as students and researchers of education or they are also based on our observations of the educational phenomena. What is educational phenomena? Educational phenomena include uh, concepts such as the aims of education, the processes of education and the outcomes of education. Uh, now, we know that every educational process uh, has certain aims. And so one of the areas in which educational research is interested is actually to explore uh, the aims or to ask questions related to the aims and objectives and goals of the educational process. The process of education actually means the process of curriculum development, the process of implementation of the curriculum that is being developed, and the process of evaluation once the curriculum is being implemented and the outcomes of that educational process are evaluated. So all of these, the process of curriculum development, implementation and evaluation, these processes is one of the areas of interest for ed educational research. Similarly, educational research also has its interest or its scope that revolves around the outcomes of of the process of education. These outcomes are often in the form of knowledge that students get at the end of the process of education, skills, certain attitudes and abilities, and the overall impact of the process of education. So what is the overall impact of the process of education? This is one of the aspects of education that educational research is interested in. Then the other area, important area or scope of educational research include the roles of educational stakeholders. So what are the roles and responsibilities and what are the, the actually the shares of these important stakeholders, including students, teachers, planners, education uh, planners, policy makers, educationists, and so on, including parents who have a, a, a great stake in the process of education. So educational research, to summarize this part of the presentation, educational research the what of educational research actually revolves around the questions related to the aims, objectives, and processes of and outcomes of the educational process. And these aims are could be broader aims or aims related to particular um, educational programs. 
The processes include the curriculum development, implementation, and evaluation processes. The outcomes of education that are in the form of knowledge, skills, attitudes, abilities, and impact, and the roles and responsibilities of the stakeholders in the field of education. And these stakeholders include students, teachers, planners, policymakers, and educationists, to mention the main stakeholders. Now, uh, also the factors that impact the process of education. That is also one possible area uh, of research interest for educational researchers. Now the why of it? Why do we need to conduct research in the field of education? So in other, other words, why do we need to conduct educational research? There are two main reasons. Um, one is that we need to conduct educational research because this helps us in the development of educational theory or knowledge related to the field of education. So, for example, theories of learning, theories of teaching, theories of evaluation, theories related to the aims and objectives of the process of education, and theories of personality development, to mention a few areas of the theoretical sides of the field of education. Um, these are the areas that, that we can explore through and can strengthen and actually can aid uh, to our knowledge related to these through the process of educational research. And so that is why educational research is an important, um, is actually an important component of the knowledge of related to the field of education. Secondly, development and improvement of practice. So uh, how can we actually improve the practice of education? That is education in action. And for example, how can we develop curriculum that is in that actually is in practice or how can we come up with new curriculum? Similarly, curriculum implementation, which, which actually means teaching. So why is educational research important? Because it helps us in the, in the useful implementation of the curriculum <clears throat> in the form of teaching. And students' learning is another area of, of, of practical importance that comes under the scope of educational research. And similarly, evaluation. So what happens that in, in terms of, of improving and developing our educational practice, educational research uh, actually helps us in the process of developing curriculum, in the process of implementation of curriculum, and, or in practical teaching, and in terms of improving, enhancing students' learning, and in, and in terms of, of developing and strengthening the process of evaluation. So these are the, the, the two main reasons uh, that is adding to theoretical knowledge related to the field of, of education and helping us in improving the practical aspect of the process of education. Uh, so these are the two main reasons because of which we conduct educational research. Now to the last part of this uh, discussion is related to the how of the educational research process. In other words, how, what is the general process of conducting educational research? So the how question of educational research generally depends on the why question. So how to conduct educational research or what type of education research we need to conduct? That is something that we will decide on the basis of the why of it. Or in other words, why are we conducting educational research? So. Generally, uh, there are two main 
uh, reasons why is because of which we conduct educational research and so in response to that we will decide on the particular type of educational research. So the first one is understanding and development of educational theory. So if our aim is to, um, to understand and to develop educational theories, the type of research that we will conduct will be basic research and examples of basic research will include descriptive research or correlational research or experimental or quasi-experimental research. Um, generally, um, the, in, in terms of the practice of, of educational research that is aimed at the development and understanding of educational theory could be in the form of quantitative research or qualitative research or mixed method research. And my separate lectures on quantitative research, what is qualitative research and what is mixed method research uh, are available on my channel so you can have a look at those separate lectures. Then the second main uh, reason for conducting educational research is to is to understand and improve educational practices. And so if this is the aim, what type of research should we then, then conduct? So in that case, we, our research that we will conduct will be applied research. So the aim of this type of research is not to add to our theoretical understanding or to add to the theories of, of education, but actually, uh, this type of research is aimed at the practical implementation of certain strategies or, practi or practices in the field of education. And an example of applied research in the field of education is action research, which is generally conducted by practitioners, that is teachers in the classroom situation or in the educational institution situations in order to improve and to understand their practices, to understand problems in the teaching learning process, and to improve the process of teaching learning to make it more beneficial uh, in terms of educational outcomes.